This video will demonstrate the proper method of weighing a bedridden patient using a USA-made Detecto in-bed digital scale. In order for an accurate weight to be measured, the tear weight of the stretcher must first be taken. Begin by undoing the Velcro straps holding the stretcher to the column. Next, remove the red transport bars from the support hoops. You can either set them aside or place them in the stretcher cup attaching them to the column. Place the stretcher on a flat surface and unroll it. Take a pin or marker and mark the midpoint on the stretcher. This makes it easier to position the patient quickly and accurately during the weighing process. Turn on the indicator and press the zero key. Attach the stretcher to the hoops using the support bar holes. Once attached and the stretcher weight is established, press the zero key again. This tears the weight of the stretcher. Remove the stretcher, roll it up, and secure it to the column once more while replacing the red transport bars. The indicator will now display a negative weight equal to the stretcher's weight. Keeping the wheel stance narrow, move the scale into the patient's room. It is a good practice for two medical professionals to assist with the patient weighing process. The patient must be lying flat in bed before the weighing process can begin. Place the stretcher alongside the patient and work the stretcher underneath the patient by rolling them first to one side and then to the other, much like changing a bed sheet. The patient's weight must be centered along the length of the stretcher as much as possible so that when lifting, they remain in a horizontal position. This is very important as improper placement could result in a shift in weight and possibly harm the patient. Once the stretcher is in place, roll the scale forward so that the base is underneath the bed and the stretcher support hoops are directly over and safely above the patient. Widen the stance of the base by adjusting the base handle away from the column and rotating it until the legs widen as much as necessary. Return the handle to its vertical position to lock the legs into place. Set the brakes on the rear wheels to ensure that no movement in the scale occurs during the weighing process. Turn the hydraulic cylinder release valve counterclockwise to an open position, which will slowly lower the scale's arm until the support hoop's hooks reach the mattress. Close the valve to hold the position. Once more, connect the stretcher to the support hoops using the holes in the stretcher support bars on either side of the patient. Ensure that the valve is closed and begin pumping the handle with slow strokes of even pressure to gently raise the patient from the bed. Monitor the display of the indicator as the patient is being raised and continue pumping the handle until the patient is about an inch or so above the mattress. Make sure that no part of the patient or the stretcher is touching any part of the bed or mattress for an accurate reading. It is a good practice for the medical professional to quickly check the distance of the lifted patient from the bed by passing their hand freely between the stretcher and the mattress. This is all the distance that is needed between the lifted patient and the bed to receive an accurate weight. Once the weight is stable, the weight will be automatically locked in on the indicator and remain that way until the lock release key is pressed. Once the weight has been measured, lower the patient slowly to the bed by opening the release valve. When the patient is back on the bed, detach the stretcher support bars from the support hoops and raise the arm so that the hoops are clear and away from the patient. Unlock the wheel brakes and set the stance to narrow once more using the stance adjustment handle on the base. Roll the scale away from the patient's bedside and chart the weight. To remove the stretcher from underneath the patient, follow the same steps as before by rolling them first to one side and then the other. Replace the stretcher into the stretcher cup and using the Velcro straps, fasten it to the column. Place the transport bars back onto the support hoops and secure the bar closest to the column using its Velcro strap. The Detecto in-bed scale is ready for transport to the next patient's room for new weighing. Keep in mind, the Detecto in-bed scale is never to be used as a transport device under any circumstances. Damage to the scale and harm to the patient may result if it is used in this manner. Detecto in-bed scales utilize the USA-made 750 indicator that is very simple to operate with keys for zero, unit switching, and lock release. It's powered by six AA batteries or an optional AC adapter. It is equipped with a serial interface port, so it is EMR, EHR ready. To find out more about this and other Detecto clinical scales, please call us at 1-800-641-2008 
or visit us online at www.detecto.com.